Now when I was a little boy At the age of five This is James Elder for iFilm London. I'm live at the premiere of Wild Bill. With me I've got actor and directorial debutant Dexter Fletcher. Like that word, don't you? And with me I've got the young man himself so, Sammy Williams. Sammy Williams, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I never told you, you look like a young James Bond. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. said that the way I That's his attire, that's where he comes with a white bow tie, the whole bit. Yeah. Yeah, he always looks like, like James. Like James Bond, just in time, you see. Yeah, you no, I've got the women chasing you when you get old. <laughs> yeah, he's all right, he's cool with that, isn't he? Well, me and Dex have to worry about that, but I'm sure you will be. <laughs> we'll, we'll defer to you, you're the next generation, you're the one who's up and coming. Tell me about the film, Dex, your directorial debut. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit, give us a little insight. Uh, well, story about Bill is, uh, you know, while Bill comes out of prison after eight years, finds his youngest son here, Sammy, living alone with his older brother, who's 15. Sammy's playing, what, an 11-year-old? 11-year-old. He's not really 11, he's a bit older than that. But he's, he finds his two kids living alone, their mum's buggered off to Spain, left them alone. And he kind of reluctantly becomes their dad again in a roundabout sort of way, doesn't he? Yeah, in a emotional telling story. Oh, there you go. There, there you go. go. An emotionally telling story. And he's right. Because it's about a bloke who suddenly discovers that, you know, he's got a couple of kids and that they need him. And he kind of discovers really that, you know, maybe he's got a place in the world that he never really, he never gets, gave himself credit before. Unfortunately, this little Herbert gets in with a rather bad crowd, Leo Gregory, Neil Maskell and the like. Got all the boys getting involved. Yeah, exactly. And, he, and, he, and they'd see him as an up and coming sort of uh, drug dealer, really, didn't they? A mini Bill. A mini Bill, that's mini right. Bill. Yeah. Uh, that's the next film, yeah. Mini Bill. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, Bill has to go and sort, uh, sort them out, really. What was the direct, being on the other side of the camera yourself all your life, what, how did you find it talking to the actors? Did you think you could relate to them more, get on their case more? What, what was, the, was the crack of it? They get on their case, they didn't take too much lip. But, but what's, what's advantage, advantageous when you're an actor is that there's a kind of bit of trust there already, you know, and that's always important. When, uh, when you ain't got much time and you ain't got much money and, you, and you've got to get the story across, it's kind of like people trust you a bit more, more readily and so there. There's a good atmosphere to work on the set. It was a good atmosphere, wasn't it, Spanners? Yeah. Don't you yeah. think? Because of this man getting it all... It was all uh, welcoming on the atmosphere. Like, the atmosphere was all welcoming on the set. Just everyone was yeah. nice. That ties me into my next question. Now, normally on the set, I find the kind of film you're making yeah. kind of reflects the atmosphere on set. I don't know why. Sure. I don't know why it just seems to do... Do you think that was the case, Sammy, on this film? Yeah, just like, just obviously, like it's a it's a dark kind of story. Like the story is a dark story, but uh, like the, the way Dexter got the atmosphere going, like everyone was friendly. But in scenes where it was like a, quite a dark scene, Charlie would say wouldn't wouldn't like be friendly to me before. So then that scene would be more real on scene. That would be Dexter's tips. Maybe, maybe. I mean, Charlie's got in a world of his own anyway. But there's a lovely scene with Mark Monero when uh, Sammy goes to see Leo Gregory and he's trying to pay back some money for some drugs. And Mark Monero's just got bits of, it's like peanuts or paper or something, he keeps just fraying them at, at Sammy. And Sammy's just like staring out, staring him out. It's a really good little scene. Uh, but you know, so yeah, there's some dark moments where, where people are kind of bullying kids, but uh, Sammy was up for it and, and there's some great acting in there. How do you think this film, Wild Bill, is going to be perceived? Can you give me a little insight? Well, I mean, people tend to think, you know, that because of the poster here, you know, that it's a bit of a, a gangster number. But the truth is, it's it's a bit of a, it's a family story, really. It's about a man and his sons, and um, I hope that eventually people will see it kind of for that. You know, it's kind of like a, a good a good drama with highs and lows and a lot of comedy in there. You know, it's quite funny and heartfelt. But it's uh, it's quite a moving, heartfelt story, really. What can we expect to see from you? Are, are you going to stick to more the directing side now, or can we can we expect you seeing coming back in? What's the crack? I'm only going to make films with Sammy Williams in them from now on. Mini Bill is my next project, mm. possibly. Yeah. Uh, Don't I, forget Young James Bond as well. Young James Bond, that's right. That's Billy Bond, we'll call him. Um, <laughs> I don't know. We we got some we got some ideas, but I'd love to work with the same group of, group of people again. That'd be a real treat. I get the emphasis from you that you're that kind of person. Once you like someone and they do their job, you're you're gonna always bring them back in and work with them again. I'd love that to happen. You know, it's uh, it's a uh, it's it's important to surround yourself with people that kind of trust you and and you enjoy their work. And I and I was very lucky that we got, I got all of those people. Speak to the devil. Listen, Dex, uh, yeah. I know just because of the sheer amount of people here that are going to try to talk to yourselves yeah. and whatever else, I'm going to let you go. But I want to say thank you and thank you for. Easy, easy, I want to say thank you again. Thank you to Leo Gregory for getting us down and inviting us down, Leo. Of course, you know it. I film London, Dexter, Spanners, Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? What can I say?
Guys, I want to say thank you very much for having us at your premiere, and best of luck. We'll catch you again real soon. Thank you very much. James Helder for iFilm London. Thank you. James Helder. Boom. I'm a man.